<clears throat> morning so today we're gonna fix a leak on some factory some factory joints right here this guy's leaking a bit this one my detector picks it up but I can't see the bubbles it might just be risen from this one and then this one hits as well so since I'm not sure I'm just gonna hit this one this one and this one with a little bit of silphos and uh, fix it up. I know this one's definitely leaking, but that one and that one still. My sniffer picks it up, so I'll just add a little bit of a little bit of solder, and we should be good. A little bit of prep time. <clears throat> Make sure that solder sticks pretty good. You don't have another leak afterwards. So this is just the wire brush. What I'm gonna do now is get it up with some sandpaper and then I'll grab the torches. It's about great or so. Let's see if we get it. More than likely, but yeah. Alright, looks like we got them. May not be the prettiest, but they'll definitely hold. That one, hold, that one, that one. So, we got them. Now, we've got to pull a vacuum, and we'll actually pressure test pull a vacuum. We should be good. All right, gents, the um, pressure test was a, a success. Only pressurized to about 100 psi. Uh, didn't drop anything for 25 minutes, so called it good. Now we're in the vacuum process. We are 2,400 microns, close to ballast, and we'll see how long it takes. Got some Appian hoses, Appian port tools, blue back. Micron gauge and a field piece HCFM vacuum pump. So, should go pretty quick. Just hope it doesn't rain on us. Alright, so the vacuum has been running for about 20 minutes and we're almost at 500 microns. So, vacuum pump's doing pretty good. It's a short line set. Lines that only goes up to there penetrates down about I don't know about 10 15 feet to the evaporator. And then we're also vacuuming the suction line through the accumulator all the way up to here. So, not bad, about 20 minutes into it, and we're almost there. Get back with you shortly. Oh, well, we just broke 500 microns. Not bad for a total of uh, 25 minutes or so. Under 30 minutes, definitely. 
so not bad we'll give it a few more minutes then we'll perform an isolation test and uh, see if uh, we pass the decay test and call it good <laughs>